8.21 Saturday morning, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in August. I'm sure you hear that a lot. Uh, Greg Vanderveer, <laughs> thanks very much. Christmas Loft, uh, two stores here in North Conway, also in uh, North Woodstock, over the other yep, side right of over the, the Kank. Kank. Uh, family, family business, and, and always interesting when you come in, uh, you just never know what's going to be in the stocking, if you will. And, <laughs> The stocking is exploding this morning. So, uh, so how are things at the uh, at the Christmas Loft again? And they're at Route Route 16 North Conway. Yep. Um, yeah, just about a mile down near uh, Settlers Green. Yep. Things yep. have been going great this year. We're uh, we've been you know real busy, and mm -hmm. this time of year we're still getting ready for the real big season. So we're still sure. decorating trees. But um, especially on days like this when it's raining, people yep. a lot of yep. tourists come in, and we have a lot of stuff kind of geared. Even if you're not in the Christmas mood quite yet, right, right. we have a lot of stuff geared to kind of you know ornaments to commemorate your trip or things like that as well. Sure. So, so then you know you can sort of look back on your summer trip uh, in in December. Yeah. You know, kind of kind of thing and also a lot of people I mean you p pick up things now so you don't have to do the rush la later on right well, so and we have a lot of people that are willing to buy Christmas anytime of the right, year. Yeah, understood, understood, so we have understood. people that come with their carts and they're filling up everything they can because you know we are unique in the sense that there aren't a ton of Christmas stores left in the country and right. so to be really to be exclusively Christmas and to have about 16,000 square feet of Christmas right. items is it's quite a bit, so a lot of people definitely come in now and buy what they need for Christmas right now. And you've, you've been doing this for a while. Can, can I ask the different themes that you have? Is that a challenge for you sometimes to, to come up with something, you know, you know you mean changing as far displays as the and, yeah. and things like that? Well, it's challenge and fun. It's Fair always, yeah, yeah. you know, my mom actually um, has been the decorator forever, and even though right. they're not running the company anymore, she still really helps us with the decorating of the trees. So we have about 17 different trees that we pick that we right. do each year, and the theme. So I work with my mom and another um, a manager of ours, and we just kind of figure out what would be the most interesting themes, and mm -hmm. it also has to do with what product is kind of hot that year. So when we go and buy stuff in mm -hmm. Atlanta in the winter time, we're kind of seeing what seems to be the new thing, and that gives us ideas for the trees as well. Nice. So speaking of product, we have a table it's full of them. So, so much. Uh, uh, there's so much, so why don't we uh, kind of look at this as uh, greatest hits, and uh, well, I you, uh, it. What, 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 what are some of the things that I try that, to keep uh, bringing find? in new stuff this summer. So most of the stuff is brand new to the store, and like we're getting new stuff in every day that mm -hmm. we, that's brand new. Um, so one thing that we've been excited about is candy. Mm -hmm. We'll get the because we've never really gone too much into candy and there's a great candy company that I've always loved called Hammond's. Mm -hmm. And so they have really fun, different chocolate okay, bars. Hold on to that. There we go. That's s'mores mm -hmm. right there. And then we got PB and PB and J. These okay. are actually really good chocolate bars. Okay, yeah, we're good. That's that's our high tech teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, of course we need candy. here. We can, so we, here, we can just try. We this got so about we got, twenty. Yeah. This one's eggnog. We got about ten or fifteen different types of uh -huh. candy canes. This one's chocolate filled. Right, right over here. There we go. Ch oh, a chocolate filled candy cane. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Gift really good. Yeah, nice. There you go. Twirl it around a little bit. Okay, and then uh, we got some. Cotton candy. Cotton candy, candy cane. Say that three times fast. Right, <laughs> lollipops. Fair, fair enough. Here, let's uh, put the lollipops over here. There we go. These are actually really high quality, great candy. Nice stuff. So okay, we cool. set up a whole candy counter with elves spinning around, and uh -huh. you can come into the store and get nice. some treats. Okay, and then uh, sort of look, looking around. Uh, you it's have what sort of these? Uh, what's this in? in this, oh yeah, uh, are you an Elvis this? fan? Here, you, this right, <laughs> it's okay, Elvis here on go. Ed Sullivan there. Now this this really is is a cool thing. Uh, a tree a tree ornament, of course. There you have Elvis, Elvis Presley, right there. Oh, that's a, ooh, there we go, there we go. Elvis in a TV set. That's uh, that's really and cool. And she goes well with and him. And she goes well with oh, there, and there's there you go, Marilyn uh, Monroe as well. Maybe they'll hook up somewhere. Of course, that happens while you're sleeping. Fair enough. And then uh, we have a uh, who's this over here? This is a new um, artist that we're featuring called Lori Mitchell. So this mm -hmm. has a, been a popular collectible, but we just got it. And so she has all these kind of fun different Halloween and Christmas characters. Uh huh. Like this one's called Chili Willie. It's like yeah, it could be like a movie character. Yeah, they yeah, are. There we go. And this one's Mini Mummy. <laughs> there you go, Chili <laughs> Will. Anyway, 
good, good so we, we feature okay. a lot of different artists that are um, sure. major collectibles that people like. And then also sort of you have your, your traditional uh, ornaments over here. Maybe This is, yeah, I brought this one. This is, um, this is made by an artist in Vermont. This mm -hmm. is uh, Jeannie Prue. So she hand paints all of these ornaments for us. Yeah, that so, New Hampshire, so, right? so New Hampshire. So this is, we have a large New Hampshire board. You come in and you, we probably have about 60 or 70 different New Hampshire mm -hmm. ornaments to choose from. And also just uh, maybe if you could briefly touch, you have a couple of uh, dolls and a candle here as well. Oh, well, these are... Uh, Either love him or hate him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he press his foot here. He press his foot. Peek a boo. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I did not see that coming. <laughs> yeah, I bring on a lot of stuff like this. <laughs> so we'll get all this out of the way. <laughs> yes. If you'll excuse me, I found a new friend. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, enough already. Okay. And here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is a duck. If you're feeling sad, you can listen to the duck sing. <laughs> okay. <cool. laughs> hey, how, how do we uh, how do we shut off Mr. Peekaboo here? There he goes and goes. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, see, we have some what the potpourri over there. Yeah, this is a new company that we got, um, which is. Uh, this is out of Kentucky, right. and they have all the, they're actually kind of like gift potpourri gift bags. So mm -hmm. it's a potpourri, and it's got kind of ornaments in it, and you can put yep. it in a bowl. It makes a really nice display. This right. one's more of a summer thing. This one's called Be Happy. Right. So it comes with a candle, the potpourri, a little bee ornament. So all right, so lots, lots of good stuff. And then also we see we have, uh, you know, a bus and all sorts oh, of Oh, well, things. that's the... That's a Grateful Dead bus right oh, there. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just keep on trucking. There we go. Oh, nice. And uh, again, we ha you know, here's the stocking to put to put stuff in. And I'd be remiss if I did well, not. This, uh, let me just show okay, these. Okay, fair enough. These are. Um, oh, that can get you in These trouble. are dog. We, we have a lot of dog lovers. So these are doggy stockings. We have about 10 different breeds. That's a poodle. Here's a poodle stocking. <laughs> there you go. So if you got a poodle, now we have the perfect stocking for you. There you Maybe go. Black, uh -huh. and I brought, also brought the Black Lab. And there you go, Black black Lab as well. There there you go for that. Okay, that's right, opposite. There we go. Okay, <laughs> and then again, let's uh, let's talk about the Grand Dame we have over here. So this is, Mark Roberts is, we carry a lot of him, and he does all I these If you leave it there, the I, think, I think if you is leave it, good, her there, leave it there, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Things so this is, this is Mrs. Claus, a Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. So she actually comes with Santa, and they're basically at a Christmas Eve ball. So right. she's decked out. And there's really tons of details. She's even got some bling and shoes on mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and beautiful rings. So these are uh, really kind of intricate, beautiful pieces that people nice. really enjoy. Well, Greg Vanderbilt, always nice for you uh, stop, stopping here. And once again, uh, where can people find the Christmas loft? It's uh, right down the street, about a mile from town, across from the 7-Eleven. Big oh. store, Christmas loft. Okay, and also a lot of people like to take the kank and do a road trip, and there's another one on the other side, too? Yeah, just right over in North Woodstock, r pretty close to Clark's Trading Post. Nice. Well, Greg, once again, thank you very much for stopping by, and you should head on by the Christmas loft because... You might find Mrs. Kloss and Today's a great day for it, too. Good it's going to be it. raining. Nice. So we'll be back. <laughs> cool. Okay, there we go.